Hey guys, welcome to the video. Let's talk about implementing a streaming service in Python Django. Short answer is that if there are no built-in capabilities, there's no easy way for you to add a streaming service with Python Django, then you should use something else. So I had a recent conversation with somebody via Instagram direct message and he was asking that particular question. He wanted to create a video service so that clients using his Python Django web app could do uh, video discussions, I suppose, kind of like a Zoom or something. So he could not find any documentation in the Python Django world that allowed him to do this. So he's wondering, he was asking my opinion about that. He had mentioned that there were Node solutions. People were using Node. So my suggestion to him, and it's a basic strategy you should take to heart, no matter what language or technology you're going to be using. If you don't find a solution within the stack that you're using, then go to another stack just for that aspect of your application. So in the case, if you're developing a Python Django based system, an application, and uh, it can't do something easily, but Node can, then create that particular that particular functionality with Node and just bring it into your system. That's all. Just feed it into the system. This is common and it's par for the course. Well, that's, that's what common means, par for the course. It's common in application development that you're going to use different technologies here and there to provide a working solution that you have in your mind. Very common, in fact. So even within the web stack itself, you're using multiple languages. You use HTML, CSS, you're using uh, JavaScript. Then on the back end, you could be using JavaScript, Python, PHP, C Sharp, Java. There's all kinds of different options for you. So you should not be afraid or concerned or um, about using some other technology that's just going to make the job a lot easier. Now, before I would implement a full streaming service, uh, from scratch, I would look at solutions that are out there already that you may be able to implement. With the exception, if that is the key of the business, that's the core of the business, you're providing a streaming service, of course, you probably don't want to use a third party in that situation. But if providing streaming video capabilities is an aspect of the overall package that you are providing, I would say see if there's an API you can leverage, you know, some third party product that you can integrate within your software. The last thing you want to do as a software developer is to uh, reinvent the wheel to develop things from scratch. What I teach is the top three rules of development is reuse, reuse, reuse. Just like in real estate, they say the most the top three things to look at when looking at a piece of property is location, location, location. Software developers reuse li code, reuse libraries, use other people's frameworks whenever possible because those uh, that type of technology that is refined and uh, offered as a product is probably going to be uh, far better than anything you can write at least initially. Again, with the one exception, if you're going to be writing some sort of application from scratch where you know, that particular functionality is core to your product. So the big lesson in this video is that you should be open to using technologies that are outside of your core stack, or as they would say in the uh, in the business world, outside of the core vertical. So if you are a Python Django based product and you see that node could allow you to add a functionality to your core product much more easily than you could with Python Django, then all by, by all means, use node. On the other hand, if you find that some third party company can license you a, a, that functionality or whatever, for 20 bucks a month or 100 bucks a month, it's probably better just to license that third party provider their software because it's all been built they've worked out most of the bugs and at the end of the day 100 bucks a month or 25 bucks a month or 50 bucks a month is a lot cheaper than developing a solution from scratch at least most of the time anyway all right see you in the next video bye bye a little while back i partnered with a very reputable hosting company out of the us and they will pay for your complete web design and development training with me 
or your freelance entrepreneur training, just click on the link below, click through that page, buy one of their hosting programs, and then uh, email me directly, and I will set you up with whatever training package uh, that you want. If you are starting off as a web designer or developer, you're gonna have to get a site up. If you wanna start a business, you're gonna have to get a site up. So you might as well have this hosting company pay for your training and uh, you get your hosting along with it. All right, we'll talk soon, bye.